We've made a few things from Overwatch so far, including Reinhardt's rocket hammer, Genji's sword, Torbjorn's turret, and even Zarya's particle cannon, which I gotta say is probably one of our best builds yet. But on this episode of Make It Real, we're building the Doom Fist. Now to build a Doom Fist, we're obviously gonna need some kind of giant fist. So why not start with a Hulk fist? We found a 3D model online and sliced it up using Autodesk Slicer. Then we had it laser cut out of steel and well, you'll see what happens. All right, so we got the laser cut pieces in for the Doom Fist, but I'm really regretting not spending that extra five minutes labeling the parts in CAD because now we have to figure out where these go. All right, now let's start welding. We bought extra welding wire, right? Do you ever wonder how we're able to do such awesome projects? It's because we have great sponsors, like today's sponsor, War Robots. War Robots is an awesome tactical 6v6 multiplayer game. With tons of robots to choose from, you can define your gameplay style and compete with over 70 million other players who've downloaded the game. With great graphics and constant updates, it's no wonder you've heard me talk about this game before. I just love destroying robots after a long day of work. Try playing with me today. Install War Robots right now and get a huge starter pack of the Vityaz robot, two pinata weapons, one thunder weapon, 400,000 silver, and 100 gold to spend on any upgrades you want. So what are you waiting for? Support the channel by playing it today. So seriously, where does this piece go? Ah. Good enough. I'm hoping my cylinders can actually uh, move, move it. it. <laughs> oh, it is. All right, who wants to get fisted? Oh, that's cool, it's just the snow hitting it. More. Oh. So we actually made an entire different video showing off the Hulk fist. You should check it out right here. <laughs> and it's not programmed yet, so I have to use it manually. Oh, okay. I'm just worried about destroying a very expensive piece of equipment. <laughs> yeah, programming is actually super easy once you know what you're doing. You just press a few buttons on screen and then you're good to go. See, but now it's cutting really nice. It's not making any noise. Need to bend this down to that knuckle. So I'm gonna drop it. Beautiful. All right, the Doom Fist is done. Now we need a way to actually accelerate it to deliver a critical hit. And to do that, we're using pneumatics. Six of them. You guys might recognize these because they were actually the pneumatics I used on my exoskeleton. And when supplied with 200 PSI, each one can actually put out 440 pounds of force. So all together, that's some kind of math and large number. That's 2,640 pounds of force. And this thing weighs like, what does this weigh now? 15.1 kilograms. So for all the people using an archaic imperial measurement system, this weighs about 33 pounds.
you're gonna have to do a few modifications to make this a little easier to wield. Uh, one, we move the handle up a little bit, so my fist is a bit closer to this, which means I'll have a bit more leverage on it. And then we need to cut this down actually quite a bit, because right now when I pick it up, it digs into my arm when I'm holding it, and that kind of hurts. But other than that, this thing feels deadly powerful. Now you might be wondering, how the heck are we going to power this thing? It's gonna take a lot of air to actuate those cylinders. Well, remember my exoskeleton? So this is the power pack from my second exoskeleton, and it's basically a compressor with a tank on a backpack that you can wear. And it's actually gonna be necessary just to use this thing. If you guys wanna see more about this project, we've got a massive playlist. It's called the Call of Duty Exoskeleton, and it was a really cool project that I did a few years ago. All right, swing around. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, no, this is all I can do. Well, that's not bad. And you're good. Yeah. Okay, my back says that's enough already. <laughs> I think that was the whole way out. <laughs> there you go. Thumbs hit me. Cylinder. There we go. Rah! 21.15 kilograms. Or, for the Americans, we have 46 pounds. So it's relatively similar to picking this up. And trying to throw and it trying around. To throw it above your head with one arm. All right, so we finished the Doom Fist. Now, it's time to test it. It's gotta suit up first. Now, if you guys want to see the ultimate Power Fist showdown, we actually have a collab video coming out very soon with Jarrah Saval and Full Metal Engineer, where we see whose Power Fist comes out on top. Make sure you're following the channel because that video will be coming out very soon. All right, so those brakes were just warm up. Let's see what I can do to a door. Oh boy. <laughs> All right, so for the grand finale of this Doomfist video, we are going to be destroying the 70 inch plasma TV that was donated to us by a few friends of ours. Unfortunately, it is a bit broken, but otherwise we'd be wasting a perfectly good TV. Um, it is powered on, so hopefully, maybe I'll get electrocuted. Should I test fire it? Just make sure it's still working before. Yep. Running start. <laughs> That's a pretty old TV. 
They built them a lot stronger back then. How much do you think this thing is worth when it first came out? Let us know in the comments below. Well, we hope you guys enjoyed that video. We had a blast building the Doomfist. Big thank you to Jaris of all and Full Metal Engineer for helping out with the build. And make sure you subscribe with notifications turned on because we've got the Ultimate Power Fist Showdown coming really soon. In the meantime, why don't you check out Jaris of all's and Full Metal Engineer's channels.